Chris Martirano here with our great friends at Kraft Music, and I'll be showing you the Nord Electro 5. Be sure to check out the great deals on the bundles Kraft Music has put together for you. All the great accessories you need to get the most out of your instrument. The Nord Electro 5 picks up where the Nord Electro 4 left off. It's available in three keyboard models. You have the 5D in front of me here, 61 note with physical drawbars. Then there's a 73 note also with physical drawbars. Both of those share this waterfall keyboard design. No undercut on the front of the keys. The black keys taper back. It's great for organ playing. And then there's an HP. There's an Electro 5 HP that has the hammer weighted action. And that's also a 73 note keyboard. Nord took the Electro 4 and by listening to their end users very carefully added a host of new features that bring this to a whole new level. One of the first things you'll notice looking at it is this beautiful display. Not only does it feature graphics, but all of the feedback you get telling you what sounds you have, what drawbar configurations you have, lots of information. It's a beautiful addition. One of the other very important things is now you can layer or split. On the Nord Electro 4, as you know, you had to select whether you wanted a piano or electromechanical sound or whether you wanted the organ. Now you have this great ability. Each, they call it a lower part and an upper part, allows you to select either an organ, a piano or electromechanic sound, such as a clav or electric piano, or the synth. And the synth they're calling here is actually a sample player. There's a huge library available for the sample player and a huge library available for the piano and electromechanical instruments. These are free to any user that buys the Nord Electro series. Another new feature that they added, which is really, really great for the instrument, is they added more memory to the piano section. So the piano electromechanical section now can have one gigabyte of memory. Nord uses a proprietary data compression scheme with lossless compression, so you can really pack a lot of sound into this area. They have many new pianos, many new electromechanical instruments too, and as I said, they're free. Let me go through some of these great pianos. This one is an Italian grand, and we'll listen to a little bit of that. The pianos are featuring the sympathetic string resonance and also the soundboard modeling. So the pianos are very realistic. Of course, there's the Lady D that you've probably heard in the Electro 4 or even in the stage model. I'm gonna show you one of the newer ones. This one they're calling Studio Grand 2.
Speaking of pianos, this section, the piano and electromechanical section, features 40 to 60 voices of polyphony. It's its own engine. It does not rely on any uh, global engine. So if I use the organ, I'm not taking any polyphony away from the piano. Or if I use the sample player, I'm not taking any polyphony away. In fact, the sample section's got 15 voices of polyphony dedicated just to its own engine. Let's listen to uh, a few of the electric pianos, which, of course, have established Nord. You see red all over the stages on late night talk shows. You see it in concerts. And it, primarily, it's because of these great organ and electromechanical sounds. Here's a Mark I Rhodes piano. And I'm going to put a little bit of effect on it, which is very well known, the panner. And I'll have it uh, just a slow panning effect. That's admittedly a very dark Rhodes sound. Let's go to a different Rhodes model. In fact, I have five of them loaded in here right now. This one has a little bit more of a bell tone to it. This is a Mark II. Now I'll show you a Wurlitzer A200. And I'm going to use a tremolo effect on it, and I'm going to assign it to my continuous control pedal. So as I bring the pedal forward, we'll hear the tremolo effect. No electric piano collection would be complete without an FM electric piano. I'll let you hear the one loaded in here now with a little chorusing effect on it. And I'll just round out the collection by showing you some of the clavinets. Of course, they captured a Honer D6 clavinet. The A, B, C, and D rocker switches positions are all captured faithfully. So I'll just go through the classic sounds with no effects on them. And then I'm going to assign a wah-wah pedal uh, using my CC pedal and play some cool funky clav.
The sample section has now been expanded as well as 256 megabytes, again using their lossless compression scheme. Right now it's packed with Chamberlain and Mellotron and also some analog synthesizer samples. Very, very cool compliment right out of the box. Now let's move on to the sample player. I'm going to show you a lot of the cool library. Of course, it's huge. If you go to their website, you can download tons and tons of cool instruments, Mellotron, Chamberlain, vintage analog synthesizers, much more. There's also envelope control for this section, so I can adjust the attack and the decay or release. There's a single knob allowing me to either make the sounds decay very quickly or by turning the knob in the other direction, I can add release to the sounds. This is very cool when you want to shape Mellotron sounds which had no release. They were tape and the moment you lifted your finger, there was no sound. In the sample section, Nord has given you not only envelope control to control attack and release, in fact the same control for release can be used to change the decay, but they also gave you velocity control, so you can change the dynamic response from your playing, and they gave you a filter that's built in that you can track velocity if you like, or you can disable it. So I'm going to show an example of some of the Mellotron sounds, and I'll be applying the dynamic touch, some of the envelope settings, and also the filter setting that's tied into my velocity. We'll start with a plain Mellotron string sound. You can hear how much you can vary the sounds pretty dramatically. I'll just step through a bunch of sounds, let you hear some of them, and then I'm going to start to combine them with the other engine, allowing me to layer with piano or with the organ or make some cool splits.
So there's an example of some of the orchestral sounds found. Of course, there's a very wide offering of basses, electric guitars, different types of synthesizer programs. So plenty of stuff to work with here. The organ, they have now improved so it matches the C2D spec, and the rotary simulation now has also been greatly improved. Also in the organ section, they've expanded now to offer you the pipe organ. So they've got a beautiful pipe organ now, in addition to the Vox, the Farfisa, and of course the tone wheel organ. You have also now a new B3 bass pedals setting, so you can have B3 plus bass pedals. So now you have the two drawbar settings as well that were standard on a tone wheel organ for bass pedals. accessory for the Nord Electro 5 is the rotary half moon switch. It functions just like you would expect on a normal tone wheel organ operating a rotary cabinet. This is sold separately, this accessory, but it's contained in some of the great bundles Kraft puts together for you. I'm now going to show you the pipe organ model. It uses the draw bars to engage different registrations, which they name appropriately like bass, flute, oboe, trumpet, and these are essentially stops that you would have on a real pipe organ. I'm going to turn off the rotary effect so you can hear the pure organ sound. I'll just use a little reverb to simulate a chapel.
Okay, so let's dig into making uh, some layers. Very simple, you have a left engine called the lower part, and then we have the right engine called the upper part. The only caveat is that we can't layer two pianos, we can't layer two synth sounds, and we can't layer two organ sounds. So you must pick a different category for the lower and the upper when you're doing a layer. When you split, you can split using similar engines. So right now, we'll make a quick layer. We'll use a piano sound, and I'm going to select the Italian. And on the synth side, I have it turned on. I'm going to select a, uh, a string program. And then I'm going to assign my CC pedal, which I have turned on here, just to control the string section. And I have both of them seeing the sustain pedal. So I could tell one or the other to ignore that, but right now, they're both going to see sustain. And as I move my CC pedal up and down, I'll bring in strings. If I chose to change one of the sounds, it's as easy as just making an adjustment to either side. If I decide I want to change the octave, each side presents me with an octave shift button. In this case, I'll transpose the strings up an octave, and I'll also add some release to the strings. Okay, let's make a quick split here and see how easy that is to do. I'll just pick, let's say for example, I want an organ on my right side. I'll pick an organ. And maybe on the left, I want a piano bass. This is standard for club repertoire. So I'll now pick uh, the Lady D grand, and that'll be for my left side. And then I'll also for the organ side, I'm going to use a kind of a prog rocky sound with a little percussion, a little chorus vibrato. And right now, all I have to do to split is hit the split button. The knob in the middle, the mix knob, allows me to balance the parts, how much I want to hear of the left or the right. And then if I want to change the split point, it's as easy as holding the split button down and turning the knob. And the display is telling us split point is F4, C5, C4, and what's happening is this LED is being illuminated on the keyboard. You can only split on the notes C and F. There's an advantage to that, which is the LED can be viewed on a dark stage. Really great when you're not sure where is the split, and because it's only C and F, you know that it's going to be in a particular region of the keyboard. So now I have piano in the left, and I have organ in the right the organ patch that I want. As I move the drawbars, the display is showing me the drawbar configuration, which is very nice. So I'm going to move it up an octave. I'm going to put it in the rotary. And I'm going to assign my CC pedal so that it's controlling the organ volume. Piano, I want deeper octaves. Additional new features? You bet. They now split out reverb and delay. They're separate effects. In fact, while I'm talking about effects, they have a really cool new effect called Vibe, 
which we'll hear in one of the examples. Uh, by the way, you can load your own samples, of course, into the Electro 5. That's right, you can make your own key maps with WAV files and load them right into the instrument. Now you can assign your CC pedal to the effect depth of, let's say, panning or tremolo or even a wah effect for wah-wah on your clavinet for getting really funky. It's great. Okay, so you can now organize into sets, groups of four sounds. And to do that, we have list. So we have a set list, and now that shows me a name of the set list. And if I want to see what's inside it, I can hit list view. List view is going to show me this particular one doesn't have anything in it, but we'll pick one here. And now let's say we want to organize what's inside that. That's now showing me the patches in that set. And I can assign these to these buttons in the front so that all I have to do is touch a button to step through groups of four. And let's say I want to decide I want to change the location of where these actual patches are in my set list. I can do that by holding these two buttons and then moving. And you see I'm now moving the location. So Bright Whirly is now being moved to location 106. So I can organize what I want. If I decide I want LA Grand to be moved up to 107, I can simply move it to 107. So now it's really easy to organize my patches for live performance. So that's what's new from Nord, the new Electro 5 series. If you have any questions or need any additional information, don't forget to contact a team member at Kraft Music and check out those bundles for great value and great packaging of all the accessories that make the instruments awesome. Thanks again. I'm Chris Martirano. <laughs>